Good morning YouTube, just thought I'd uh, do a video today talking about the, uh, I guess the storage options that the Yamaha Grizzly has and kind of the, um, kind of the different ways you can organize all your gear for, you know, uh, you know, a, a day out on the trail or even a few hours. And obviously too, in, in the event of an emergency, right? You want to make sure you have your essential emergency items while you're out there. And, um, I think the Yamaha Grizzly, um, offers a few storage options just in itself and then combined with you know a, a storage box here you can really uh, feel uh, safe and prepared out there for uh, anything that can happen so grab yourself a coffee and uh, and uh, let's take a look okay guys so right off the bat you can see that as you're riding right in front of you there is a nice uh, storage unit right here so it's pretty uh, pretty good size storage unit as you can see already. It goes in pretty deep. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just kind of talk about what I uh, what I keep inside there, and uh, I guess the do's and don'ts of this uh, particular one. It's not waterproof, so any of uh, your delicate items you want to put uh, elsewhere, and I'll show you that. All right. So right off the bat, a pair of gloves, riding gloves. I generally keep one right in there. <clears throat> sanitizer never know when you're gonna need that lighting <clears throat> just a pelican pencil light 1920 I guess and a, another pelican headlamp they're both very bright and uh, light the way if I need them to what else do I have in here let's see Keep a mask in here. This is more for winter. This is just a balaclava that I wear underneath my helmet. Uh, this time of year, I'm not really wearing one, but uh, if it gets really dusty, I guess, um, then I might put something like this on, but probably uh, probably something lighter. And other than that, got my, uh, my trail mat. And then all my... Uh, manuals and other paperwork that uh, that come with the bike that's pretty much it I'll uh, <clears throat> I'll sometimes throw some uh, some quick items in there that I need to get to but uh, mostly that's all I keep in that center that center spot one thing to note with this one here is that it does get very hot as you're riding so um, I wouldn't keep anything uh, anything sensitive, I guess, in this particular storage area. Okay, next one we're going to talk about is the uh, dry storage compartment. It is watertight, so I would uh, keep, um, obviously, all the items that I don't want to get wet in here. So I'm opening her up. As you guys can see, it's a little bit smaller than the, uh, than the front compartment, but still big enough to hold what I need it to. So for example, in here I keep some electronic items. So there's my uh, battery pack, my solar battery pack, USB cable, charge my phone if I need it to. And in here, might be a little overkill, but I do like to keep my ready fire kit in here. As you can see, so I just keep it in a, uh, in a blaze orange hat. I have a uh, fire steel. This is just a Bear Grylls fire steel that I picked up at Canadian Tire a few years back. Vaseline cotton balls, everybody knows what those are and how they work. Very great item. And a little bit more Vaseline. And the last thing I keep in here is just a Bic lighter. All right, I guess that is my uh, fire kit and the contents in the uh, wet, watertight, sorry, storage compartment. Next compartment, guys, is just the uh, rear, lower rear storage box that uh, Yamaha gives you, gives us. So as you can see here, it's actually pretty generous size. So I mean, I, I'd keep rope in here, you know, tow cable. That's what I keep right now. Yeah, haven't even had to use it yet, thankfully. But I know that if I do, it's here waiting for me. 
you want to put anything else in there there's still plenty of room as you guys can see and that's it so that one is not watertight you can see like it doesn't really have a you know a seal or anything along those lines i'm sure you can add one if you really wanted to but i mean for what i use it for i just keeping a tow rope in there it's uh it's perfectly fine all right so the last area guys i'm going to show you is the storage box as you guys can see here so it's just a culpin or culfin i guess i don't know how you pronounce it but it's a culpin rear trail box I've had this for a number of years on uh, my old Arctic Cat as well as another bike before that. And um, yeah, it does the trick. I wouldn't say it's the highest quality. It is somewhat uh, watertight, which is nice. But um, yeah, I don't know, maybe one day I'll upgrade. For now, it does the trick. It can, uh, it can lock, which is uh, also a good feature. So we'll open it up. And here's what I keep inside. All right, everybody. So this is everything I keep in my uh, my trail box. As you can see, it's quite a few items. So I'll go through it quickly. I mean, right off the bat here, I just carry a uh, <clears throat> a packable backpack. It's nice if you want to, you know, um, take a break from trail riding and go for a little hike or go for a walk, but you still want to carry some items. This is a nice, convenient feature or item rather, and um, yeah, I like to keep that in the box as well. So put that aside. Right over here, just a plastic bag, pick up any garbage. You know, there could be some uh, there's some gross people out there, so they, uh, they like to litter and stuff like that. And inside this plastic bag, I just keep a roll of toilet paper, so it keeps from getting it wet. You never know when you're gonna have to go. So that's nice to have on hand. Up here, a little tripod for my uh, GoPro. Can of bug spray, this time of year, definitely a must. I highly recommend it. My container, it's just a uh, Yeti water bottle. I can fit quite a bit of water in here. I can fit over about a liter, uh, almost a liter and a half of water. And uh, this will do just fine for me to spend the day out on the trail. And if I need to get more, I can always stop at a gas station while I'm out. Rain jacket, this is a Shimano fishing rain jacket. Rain pants to go with it. Gotta stay dry. A tarp, just in case I need a tarp. I believe this is a 10 by 12 tarp, so it's quite large. I can cover whatever I need to, the bike, myself and the bike. And uh, yeah, so always keep that in there. My knife, I do like to keep a a good knife on me. This is a uh, Ontario Rat 7. I've had this for a number of years and uh, it's uh, something I like to have on me at all times when I'm out there. Fisker's hatchet. Folding saw. This is just a Canadian Tire Special Woods folding saw. I will say I'm actually quite pleased with it. It's fairly sharp. Does a good job of cutting. So I was uh, glad I went with that purchase. Roll of electrical tape. Some cordage. Some all-purpose rope found at the dollar store. Nothing special. But if I ever need cordage, I got some. This is my tool roll. I keep various items inside to, uh, you know, do quick repairs on the ATV or any other uh, any other necessary work. It's a Carhartt tool roll that uh, I purchased on Amazon. I'm quite pleased with it. It does come with a handle, so I can take it out of here, put it in the truck if I need to. Um, yeah, this one kind of just stays in the bike, but I like the idea of a tool roll if anyone's thinking of getting a, a tool kit for their bike. Bungee cord, self-explanatory, tie anything down on the bike. Some more tie downs here. These ones uh, offer a little bit more security than the bungee and uh, allows me to tie down my uh, Yeti cooler to the front of the bike when um, working on the property or just uh, going for a short ride, but uh, keep some stuff cool. 
little safety reflector. Never know when you're gonna need that if you're getting close to dark. First aid kit. This is actually a pretty, uh, pretty good first aid kit. It has all the essential items. And um, this is actually a nice uh, stocking stuffer I got. And I've uh, left it in the ATV ever since. It's been good to have. This is a uh, Slime Smart Repair Tire Inflation Kit. It does come with a mini compressor that hooks up to this very convenient plug right here. So I'm glad I have this and uh, hopefully I'll never have to use it, but it is in my trail box just in case. And an extra pair of gloves. These ones are a little bit thicker. They are um, winter rated and they have the high-vis uh, <clears throat> green, which I like. But these also come with me everywhere I go. Always keep a spare. Well, that's pretty much uh, pretty much it, folks. As you can see, I fit all of that in the uh, Culpin trail box. And um, I do have room left over. So I say that room pretty much meant for if I'm going out um, for the day and I want to like pack a lunch, then I know I'll have uh, more than enough room to do so. Take a real quick look at what the box looks like empty. So as you can see, there is plenty of room in there. For those who want to keep their ATV helmet on them, then uh, it'll fit in here just fine. One on this side, one on that side, his and hers, or if you're with a buddy, whatever. And um, yeah, so that right there, guys, is my ATV trail kit for my 2021 Yamaha Grizzly. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please subscribe and um, feel free to leave a like or comment and uh, I'll get back to you as quick as I can. Thank you and have a good day, everybody. Bye.